Okie dokie. I am here. I am freezing, but I am here. It's going to be warm out today here, but it's cold in my house. But my jacket. I'm wearing a jacket in the house. Seems kind of silly, but it works. Then I don't have to turn the heater on in the morning. So, good morning, everybody. Let's get the comments rolling here. Good morning, Susan and Cynthia and Carmen. Is there no sound? No, I just wasn't talking. Is there sound, Carmen? Hi, Z and Carol and Carol and Ellen and Letizia. Can you hear me? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Yeah, I just wasn't talking. <laughs> okay, good morning. It is so pretty at my house today, so pretty. And I think the reason is because yesterday these guys were walking down the street they were asking if anybody needed any trees cut and boy did we so they did a number in our backyard it looks amazing okay so welcome to tuesday it's tuesday it's tuesday um and this is me creator of cuteness so that's where you can find all my stuff and junk and whatever's so go to the website if you want to find anything at all, like books and classes. And there's one spot left now in the Sierra Creative Retreat because somebody had to back out. So that's exciting. Um, not exciting that she had to back out. Exciting that there's one more spot left. Anyway, that's that. We are in April. We are in the midst of autumn. So yesterday we did leaves. Today we are doing acorns. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, let me get. Okay. Anyway, that's April. And then let's talk about journal play day. So this is what we make in journal play day. We make a journal in journal play day figure that one out and this is what we did for april we made a journal with an accordion journal and some pages here and a butterfly that hasn't been finished oh look and there's my solar eclipse which was pretty much a bust here in california i must say uh, and then my envelope pocket books so we make a journal every month and each month i try to do it a little bit differently so all of our journals don't look exactly the same you get lots of artwork from me to put into your journal. So this is just some that I have not used yet. Oh, look, I printed my butterflies on dictionary paper. Anyway, so then for May, there will be more artwork and stuff coming. So if you sign up for Journal Play Day now, you'll get all the stuff to make your journal book for April and all of the artwork that was used in that book. It works out to $8.33 a month. Uh, it's $25 for the three months. You create a new signature journal each month, like I just showed you. You get new artwork for each month, like I just showed you. And um, we just have a lot of fun each month. That's all I can tell you. It's just fun each month. That's all. Oh, look, it is clearer on YouTube. I just looked on YouTube. Man, that video is much clearer on YouTube. Anyway, but I only look at the comments on Facebook. So long story short. So this is the artwork that I'm working on for May. So there's going to be some flowers. There's going to be some borders. Then this was the one I was super excited about, and I have to paint it. So you're going to get Mayflower seeds, a little packet, so we can make a packet pocket, um, a little wildflower head girl, a little flower quote, something that needs to be erased here, um, a vase, a pot, 
and some big flowers. And then you're going to get the journal um, cards. What do you call those? Journal blocks. Um, we're going to get long and skinny journal blocks. So they could either fold as an accordion or you could put them in a pocket. Some words that are going to be cute. And then a tag and a, just a little card. So, yeah, pretty cute. And then these two for the art. Not happy with this one yet, but I think I'm going to, I think I know what I'm going to do to make it cute. It took me forever. And then I don't know if it's the colors. I love this one, but I don't necessarily love this one. So I'm not sure yet. I got to just sit down and play with them for a few minutes. But that will be for May because, you know, April showers bring May flowers, right? Okay. Next is the... Um, book club which i am shamelessly plugging i'm a little nervous about this month's book club because it has to be at a different time because i'm doing it uh at the retreat um so if it's a bust i will do it again for those of you guys actually in the book club but i figured if i taught it at the book at the uh, retreat then those people that are in the book club could take it and those people at the retreat could take it so the way this works is you sign up for the book club. This book club is part of our uh, second session. So you got January, February, March, and April. You can still join and get the past book club um, on entries, entrees, what, what would you call it? Whatever we did for the book club. <laughs> um, it's $30, which makes it $7.50 a session. And yeah, we take a new book each month, one that I choose, not one that you have to go buy. Look how pretty. And we're going to learn to paint these faces. I doubt that. <laughs> At least not in one hour. But we will give it a try in the hour that we have. And you can get to a point where you can probably have something that you're happy with, I hope. So that's the plan for uh, April's book club. It's the Jane Davenport book called Beautiful Faces. I'm working on getting the third session of the book club together, and that will be hopefully up on the website this week. That will be May, June, July, and August. And there will be four new books, four new journal play day sessions, and we have a kitty cat, which I, I never have. Oh, you know what? Let me try this. I fixed my white pen. Let's just see if it's working, shall we? I gave it a few minutes to soak in, and I rolled it in my hands like Carmen said. It's still pretty thin. It doesn't look like Carmen's. It just keeps disappearing. It just keeps fading away. Anyway, I'll fix it. I'll do something. I don't know. All right, so that's the book club. Then I have a couple of things to share. I got another freaking amazing postcard from Cindy Adams. She, oh, she's a force, man. Look what she made me. She stitched me a bunny on a postcard. The, here's the postcard part. Oh, and the postcard is even a bunny. So cute. She just does such a good job. And I think I'm going to stitch this onto my new apron that I'm taking with me to um, the retreat. Isn't she cute? I just love her stitches, how she got the little furry edges. It's just so cute. Thank you, Cindy Adams. You're amazing. You're a force of nature with how many postcards you make each month. Just, yeah, it's so cute. All right, so that's going on the ground. And then I got something from Debbie Boring because I asked for it, not because she wanted to send it to me. But here's the thing. Um, she, uh, she sent this to my home address. Don't ever send anything to my home address if you happen to have it. Number one, because it's just safer to send it to the P.O. box. And number two, because everything gets stolen out of our mailbox. So she sent me a second one. Oh my gosh. Debbie Boring has a little uh, free library at her house. And this is the kind of stuff, if you were to go to her house, this says, this little heart is left for you to keep or give away. 
It's expressing love and the desire for peace around the world. This is definitely going on my apron, except that it has a paper tag, but that part may not make it, but this will. Oh my gosh, isn't it so pretty? So she has not a free library like a book library. She has a free art library in front of her house. So if you guys wanna do something cool in your neighborhood, do a free art library and put art in it. Cause you know, it's green, she said. Yeah, that's cute. And the envelope's green. It's stamped to death with so much cuteness. Okay. And then I'm just gonna share this really quick. I got an apron from Adorn It that looks like this. It's This is where all my new patches are going on the apron. And um, they sent me this, uh, which is a paintbrush holder. Well, I don't know what it's made for, but for me, it's going to be a paintbrush holder. So this is a new item that they're carrying, but they also have the apron to match. And then they sent me a bunch of thread and all my new patterns. Oh, and some needles. I just saw those. Oh, those are nice. Um, and then a bunch of new patterns that are mine. These are the wash away uh, self selvi, I think it's called. So you cut this out and you stick it down. It's like a sticker. And then you stitch. And when you're all done, you put it under water and it washes away. So this is made to go on tea towels. I'm going to start embroidering my overalls. So I think like this one will be super cute on my overalls. Um, but these little ones would be cute coming out of pockets. I'm not sure exactly what, but I love them. And then I designed this like two years ago for them called Pocket Pals. So if you have a shirt with a pocket, you know, you could put this at the top of a pocket or your jeans on your back pocket or your front pocket or your uh, overalls or something with a pocket. And it looks like these little guys are coming out of the pockets. So there's a sunflower, a kitty cat, there's artist tools and more artist tools. So I'm gonna try to combine these two on my apron. And then there is gardening tools, a bunny, a doggy, uh, flowers with the word create in it, or you don't have to use the word create. Um, kitchen tools, and then um, more flowers. This is a this is a spoon, a spatula, a whisk, and a rolling pin. In case you wanted to know, this is a rake, a clippers, a hoe, and a shovel. We know what these are. I don't have to explain those. So anyway, these are for stitching, and they're going to go really fast. I don't mean like they're going to sell really fast. I mean they're going to be able to embroider really fast. I don't believe these are available yet. So as soon as they are, I will talk about them again. Let's put this on the floor. Okay. I have inspiration today. Is it inspiring me yet? No, but um, I think it was Beth Hall that gave me these super cool felted um, acorns. Look at the little bitty ones. Aren't they so cool? And I just keep them in a bowl because they make me happy. But they're acorn tops with felted uh, acorn parts. And then these I do every couple of years. Um, I just will take my acorns as they come out of the yard and I dip them in shellac so that they will stay beautiful and the tops will stay attached. So anyway. Just thought I'd have a little inspiration today. It's not really inspiring me. And then I have uh, several prompts, or not prompts, because our prompt today is acorn, but several ideas for a quote. I have the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. That's Ralph Waldo Emerson. Then I also have the standard acorn quote, mighty oaks from little acorns grow. So I don't know yet. Maybe we'll draw a tree. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a two-sided one. Maybe we'll do a two-sided one. I don't know yet. It's too early to tell. So maybe we'll draw a tree.
Let's draw a hill and a tree. Maybe not that big. Here's our trunk, a really big, gnarly trunk. And then let's go like that, just kind of wavy. And we'll put in some branches. And we'll do this one, Mighty Oaks from Little Acorns Grow. And I don't have my hole reinforcers upstairs here. But Mighty Oaks from Little Oh, I was going to show you my journal. We'll stop for a second, only because I want to. <laughs> That's a good reason. I finished it last night, the new page, and then I started it on a, a past page this morning. Okay, so we're going to draw that tree. Okay. So this is my personal journal that I've been working in. I know I've been sharing it a bunch, but it just brings me so much happiness. So I just keep working in it. Um, it started off as part of Joanne Sharp's class called My Artful Year, Whimsy Words and Watercolors. And I never did anything here because I was not inspired on that page, except I did do the art for it. This she called My Mind's Eye, and this is very much Joanne Sharp uh, idea. This I wrote, I don't even remember what this page was supposed to be, but anyway, I love it. And then a paint box with my new paints and some of my favorite colors mixed here. And then this was the end of, okay, wait, this was January. Then we started into February, and this is my hearts page. This is uh, my artful life. Um, and then a sunshine girl, and then another sunshine girl. And then uh, March. 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 And I was going to write words in here, but then I decided not to, so I don't know. And then April. This is what I did this morning. I colored this in. It says, She Dreams in Colors. I think I showed you guys this the other day. But look how pretty the rays are in rainbow colors. And then I'm going to fill in patterns in the solid colors here. It's amazing. And then uh, this is what I did yesterday because I have so much to do for the retreat. So what did I do? You know when you have so much to do that you do nothing? That's what I did, nothing. My husband and I watched the tree guys take a bunch of trees out of our yard, and then I drew the rest of the day. Because I came up with this idea in my brain yesterday, total eclipse of my art, for a total eclipse of the heart, because everybody was posting that. So I did an eclipse here or whatever, but they're suns and moons, and then some art. And then I did, while watching the Elton John Gershwin Awards, I just wrote lots of suns and moon um, words in at the top here. So it just makes me so happy to work in this. And the only color this page is going to get is the suns and the moons. So my moons are going to get colored like a moon, and the suns are going to get colored, you know, because the moon is the gray part. And then the suns will get colored in suns. Anyway, it makes me so happy to work in this book. I know I've shared it before, but I will share it again. It is the Zeta series premium sketchbook by Stillman and Bjorn. Burn, Bjorn. Stillman and Bjorn, B-I-R-N. 
It's eight by 10. And man, it takes pen and watercolor so beautifully, you guys. So beautifully. So if you want to invest in a $30 journal, because <laughs> it's not cheap, um, invest. What does this say? I don't need that. Okay, just wanted to share that because it just brings me happiness. Let's go back to our tree. So I think I'm going to use my green ink and black ink. And make our hill. And then start on our tree. Oh, okay. Your phone's beeping. My honey bunches of oats. All right, we're going to go. You can do your bark however you want. I'm just doing little lines in here. I don't know how to draw the trunk of a tree very well. So I do a Lindsay trunk, just a bunch of lines that end up looking like hopefully tree bark. Yeah, so these guys that were driving around yesterday, they had just finished a job in our area. I mean, I know guys say that sometimes, but they really did. And um, so they were driving around looking at people's trees that might need to be cut. And so we decided, yes, on a whim, let's just have them cut our trees. Because my husband normally does that, but he has so much to do. That it was just easier to have these tree guys do it. And man, is it fun watching them climb trees and cut stuff down and have it go crashing in the fire in the forest. It was fun. Okay, now we're going to do green ink. We did black ink. Now we're going with green ink. And we're going to put in some branches. I'm just going to extend it from the black ink. Where's the acorn, you might want to know? I don't know. I'm not a fan of drawing acorns, so thought we'd write the word acorn. I might draw an acorn. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Anyway, so that's what we did yesterday. Nothing. We both took the day and did nothing. Well, that's not true. He went and built a desk. So I guess he did something. And I did organize all my stuff for what I'm going to do in Omaha. So I know what I'm going to do. And now today is my day to make samples. And I'm going to time them so that I know how long it takes me. And then double it because I know everybody else is going to be like, you're so fast. We can't do it as fast as you. So that's the deal there. Bye, Brent. Denise says, bye, Brent. Oh, CJ wants to know how the party was. CJ, interestingly enough, well, we were only there for maybe an hour. My husband wanted to leave because it was kind of a weird party, but we don't do karaoke and they were all doing karaoke, but I made a couple of friends, like not friends that I would call at a later date, but people that I was chatting with. Like two, uh, two ladies and one lady said, standing in the corner being wallflowers. And she goes, I don't do parties well. I go, me either. And so that gave us a friendship thing to talk about. She was my husband's buddy's realtor who sold the house that we were crashing in. But man, there were two ladies there doing karaoke that are in the Auburn Pops musical group, which is a local, you know, singing group 
oh my God, I would never have done karaoke. But I did surprisingly well. I was proud of myself. Thank you, CJ, for asking. It did take me out of my comfort zone. Cheryl, you're coming to Omaha, right? I sure wish I was in Omaha this week because they got all the amazing um, view for the solar eclipse. I mean, not, not totally, but it was very cool in Omaha. We got bupkis. Sorry, a little bit of Yiddish. We got nothing. It just nothing happened here. I mean, a teeny tiny bit, but just not the same as a total eclipse. But I did get art done for the eclipse, and that's good. That made me happy. So there you have that. But not much else yesterday. I was watching, this probably isn't appropriate for me to talk about, but since it's on regular TV, I guess I can. I'm watching a show called The Resident, which was on like NBC or ABC or something. I don't know where it was on, but it's on one of those stations. But now it's on streaming. And one of the people, maybe I started talking about this yesterday, but it really affected me, so I'm still talking about it. What the heck? How did I get dirty right there? Oy vey. Anyhow, uh, let me get some paint. One of the ladies in the show, who's a grown-up, this is a TV show. This is not reality. She was raped when she was 13. And she's just coming to terms with it as a grown-up. Oh, man, that's going to be pretty. And um, her son, her, you know, biological son, now she's found him. And he works where she works. And, you know. So now he now just found out about his biological father who was the rapist. And I'm like, honey, come in here. This is my life story. It freaked me out that they were doing my life story, you know? And they were freaking out. Like when I found out that my birth mother was raped, this is why this probably was not appropriate because it's about rape. Um, but when I found out about my birth mother, it did not affect me like I didn't want to go right under a, a rock and not do anything. But, you know, these people on TV, like, oh, my gosh, like they just wanted to commit Harry Carey. And to me, it's just what it is. Oh, the spot is an acorn flying in the wind. And he said, that's a good idea. Anyway, it just amazed me how, I don't know, I just never, I never thought like I was going to be a serial killer or a rapist because of my birth father was a rapist, but this kid, man, he went off the deep end. It just didn't bother me. It's not who I am, so... My birth parents raised me to be a good girl. And I think that nature and nurture, you know, they all have to do with it. I wish I had erased my lines first. But that's okay. Carmen says they call it drama for a reason. Yeah. I think I need some brown in the tree a little bit more. Maybe some orange. Because it is fall. Oh, oh, that's some bright orange. Oh, 
Okay. Let's try to hit it with a heat tool. Jewel says I have been watching that also. It's a good show. But now my two favorite girls are not on the show. I was sad about that. Just smearing around some color here a little bit. I don't want to play with it too much. Oh, you guys are talking about taxes. My Our corporation taxes got done yesterday, which was exciting. But my personal taxes still aren't done. This is a very pretty tree. I love how the green leaves that I drew kind of just faded into the background. Are those pen lines? I don't remember. I also watched the show called Transplant, but I haven't watched that very much recently. Oh, Carmen, you have to watch the Gershwin honors um, honors for Elton John and Bernie Taupin. First of all, Joni Mitchell was amazing. But second of all, Metallica did Love Lies Bleeding and Funeral for a Friend. If you know Elton John at all, you know that's a great song. And man, was Metallica good. So good. It was on PBS. I have to find it again, but you can see the Metallica on YouTube. Not everybody is on YouTube. Not all the acts were posted to YouTube, but Metallica was. Oh man, that's a dark green, huh? It's almost black. But it was really good. And I want to see, I missed Billy Porter and Garth Brooks. And I'm sure they were fabulous. So I got to gotta go back and watch and find them. Man, this is a pretty card. I'm really liking how it's turning out. I want my trunk darker. I'm going to blend some black with some brown and make a darker brown. There we go. Anyway. Tonight is soccer. That's so exciting. And it's also picture day for the little kids. So I, my son doesn't know this. He's the photographer for the whole region um, of little kids playing soccer. So he'll be taking the kids' pictures today, tonight. But he doesn't know this. <laughs> my husband and I are going to dress up in, I don't think we have soccer uniforms, but I do have a Viking shirt from the Minnesota Vikings. And we're gonna dress up uh, in our sports gear and make him take our pictures. <laughs> uh, he'll hate that. It'll make him just go, mom, really? But I mean, he's got his camera out already. What harm could it do except to him? You know what? I really should have done the lettering first. Oh, well, that's life. Um, if you guys don't have tags like this, you can cut them out of manila folders. 
but this is just manila folder paper and manila folder takes watercolor beautifully beautifully so Oh, Carmen, I for you're doing the CPAP. I forgot. Carmen, are you coming to lunch on Friday, by the way? I was thinking that maybe on Monday we need to do a dual uh, show, you and me together, on StreamYard. We'll talk about it. Don't get excited, you guys. Man, that's pretty, isn't it? It's not done, but, and this needs to go way over here. Carmen, it's in our group, Crafternoon Bitches. You guys, I bought the wrong size tip for this pen. It's like a medium, I think, but it's actually fine, but it's very thick. This is the vacuum seal pen that I can take on the airplane. It seems very thick to me. I want to have a big party in my backyard now that it looks so beautiful. Maybe I'll just do it for my girlfriends. <gasps> Wait. Maybe I could have a bunch of people over to craft. I have been looking at um, pictures on Instagram of the people that do those farm tables. Do you know what I mean? The big, long farm tables. I'd have to clean my bathroom because people would have to come in the house to use the bathroom. That means then I have to clean the house. Anyway, let me think this through. But I just want to decorate those big, long farm tables more than anything. I just want to have it all set up with pretty flowers and little milk bottle vases. Do you know what I mean? All I see are these beautiful, and they're mainly weddings and baby showers. But I saw one yesterday that was so beautiful. I sent it to my daughter and I said, I just want to have a party. Just so I can decorate the backyard and look pretty. So maybe I will. Teresa, would you come to my house for a craft afternoon if I have one? That'd be so fun. This summer, we would probably die from heat. Carmen would not be able to do it. Oh, but I could have my husband set up a tent, a little tent for us, for Carmen, with some fans in there and misters. It just goes from cold to hot here so quickly. But man, it would be fun. I really, I know I've said this before, but after all is said and done with all of the retreats that I have to do, I really want to play with jelly prints, like for the whole day. You'd have to bring a hundred sheets of your own paper and your own jelly print and come over and play. I don't want to teach anything though. I just want to play. Yeah. Corey says, I will come and I will wear my pink tutu. <laughs> Carmen says, I could wear my purple tutu. My pink and white tutu got cut up, Corey. I cut it up and used it for tool. Okay, I think I'm going to plan that. I'll have my Mars friends come and my new friends here come. And everybody would have to bring a potluck item that would be pretty because it would have to go on the pretty tables. Palma says, I'll be there. I have a tutu also. Rebecca says, the heat will not be good for the jelly print. The ink will dry too fast. Well, dang nabbits, Rebecca. Spoil all my fun. Better to know now than then.
These tags are going to be so fun to use. You guys are going to thank yourself for making tags. We'll have them in the fall. That is a cool S. I like it. Jamie says we should all wear tutus. Jamie, who invited you? Just kidding. Of course you're invited. Lisa, you would be invited too because you're a local girl. It'll We'll call it Locals Only Crafter Noon Day. You have to be within 50 miles or something. How far is Sacramento, Lisa? Although my friend Carolyn would want to come and she lives in Linden and I know that's a lot further. So we would have to make exceptions for her. It's just cleaning the house and the bathroom that would be the problem. Everything else would be fun. Okay, we still have to draw an acorn somewhere. And I'm sure I'm going to have it hanging down here. I just love the tree, though. Just bite the bullet, Lindsay. So I'm going to hang a little tiny acorn down here. It's a half of a circle. And then the bottom part is kind of like a strawberry. Like that. I'm going to get a really skinny fine pen. A skinny fine. You know those skinny fine pens. And we're going to put a little ribbon attached to it here. Man, do I really like this page. It started out like I wasn't going to like it, but I really do. I think this is going to be a big year for acorns from all the rain that we've had. But what do I know? Not much. Okay. Denise says, not too much cleaning or people might feel uncomfortable and guilt that they're house. Yeah, but dusting would be important. Like, there's dust everywhere in my house. But luckily, my downstairs bathroom is the cleanest bathroom in the house. And that's where, do you guys want to see where this party will be? I'm just going to show you. Hang on. Wait till you see. We're going to go outside. Look how beautiful my backyard is now. They took down one tree right there. It was really tall and dead. And then they limbed up this guy, this big giant. He got limbed up. And then look, there's my yard. And I already have party lights up. And then see that giant cedar on the other side? They limbed that all the way up too. So my gosh, wouldn't it be so pretty? Just a long table right in here. And I have umbrellas. I mean, I think we could do this. I really do. It's just, look at, that's yucky down there. I'd have to have somebody clean that. Look at all the branches they left. Anyhow. I'm going back in. Thank you for letting me show you my yard. Okay, let's get back to this tree now. Get back to work. Let's get back to work. Okay. Phew. Oh.
What did I miss a bunch of questions? Okay. Yeah, we have done it on the upstairs deck before, but I don't want to do that. I want to have a bunch of people. Like, I'm talking, did I just smear the whole stupid thing? Carmen, I walked away for the longest time. Oy vey. I did. I smeared it. But I don't care. I'm going to go back in with blue and it'll be fine. Anyway, I'm planning this. I think it's going to be fun, but it will have to be in the middle of summer because I'm not done with my retreats until July. So it has to be after the July one, you know? You could even bring a tent and stay overnight. Just kidding. Do not stay overnight. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we had the funnest day that day, right, Corey and Carmen? We, I had a, um, Oh, there must have been a, there must have been a um, circle on there because it's gone, but it was there. We had my friend uh, Rena Verkamp Askey come from Wisconsin, and we surprised her with a Rena day. So her name is Rena that rhymes with Tina. That's how I've always remembered it. And um, we had Rena Day and we asked her to bring a project that we could make that was like what she did. And then I had made fans with her face on it, I think. I don't remember. It was just so fun. That was a fun day. We need more of those fun days. Okay, so I'm just going to put some light green or darker green little fleck type leaves in here. I probably should have left it alone. But no, I can't leave anything alone. And I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow because I didn't bring any ribbon up here. And now for sure I want a um, something at the top there. Oh, maybe we'll add, I know what we'll do. Hold tight. We don't have to use that circle just because it's there. We can do our own thing because we have the technology. Okay, loving it. Let's do this first. So we're gonna take, remember this from yesterday? Kind of like this spot right here. We're just going to cut this. It will not be straight. We're going to tear this part. So now I have just a little, doesn't even have to be that big, but we're going to fold it over and we're going to put it right there. That'll be so much cuter than that ugly circle. This would be really cute stitched. I may have to take it downstairs and put it on a sewing machine. But just a little bit of glue for now to hold it in place. Cute, right? So now I can punch a hole in that if I wanted to, or that could just be the little pull out part. Kind of like that. Hmm. 
Where is the closest airport? Cindy Gall wants to know. Sacramento. Sacramento. Or Reno. I guess during the summer when there's no snow, you could go to either one. But I have to put I have to put a limit because I guess I'd have to rent chairs, which means then I have to charge something because I don't want to pay for chairs because I am a tightwad. I was going to use another word, but I'm trying really hard not to use that word. But I am a tightwad. So I might have to charge five bucks or ten bucks or something to come up. Because I want to rent tables and I want pretty chairs. I want it to be pretty. That's all. That's the important part for me is to have it pretty. Lisa McDonald says it's a beautiful ride up. Lisa, when she was here last year for the retreat, they came up from Sacramento, but then her husband also went to Tahoe. I think he took her to Tahoe on his way home. It's a pretty ride both ways. That's what matters. Look how pretty the um, pencils are working on this manila folder. I know I've said it before, but I will say it again. I love manila folders. If you're ever at a thrift store and they have manila folders on sale, buy some. You will thank yourself for having those available to cut up. Oops. Pretty happy with this tree. I'm not good with these kind of trees. I think in the doodle book, there is a tree that I draw. I don't have the doodle book here, but I think so. Cute. I have run out of things to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Anybody have a topic of conversation? It's been four days since I've baked a loaf of bread. I'm kind of jonesing to make some more bread today, but I really have to do my retreat stuff. So... That's going to have to wait, I guess. Yeah. No bread for this girl. Man, these pencils are working like butter on this. They're just beautiful. I would like a ream of this paper. Okay, we're going to cover up this spot right here because it's bugging the crap out of me. Hard in my French. Okay. Much happier now much happier because I'm happy. Why can't Lindsay ever just leave her watercoloring alone? Why does she have to put all that detail in there? I'll tell you why. Because it makes me happy. Oh, that's not showing.
Today, I'm going to listen to Elton John all day because of his Gershwin honor. Man, was he good last night. When he played your song, oh, vey, I almost cried. So good. I just can't leave anything undetailed. And Joni Mitchell changed the lyrics to his song called, I'm still standing stronger than I used to be. It was so perfect for her. And I love that she added her own lyrics to it. So good. Okay, why no bread, Carol? Because I have to get ready for my retreat. I have work to do. I don't like days when I have real work to do. Let's try this white pen again, shall we? I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this pen, Carmen, but it is still milky white, like not thick. We'll try it here. Oh, it seems to be working there. Oh, wait, you said to roll it in your hand. Let me try that. I shook up the bottle of ink so much to mix the pigment. See, it's just soaking into the paint. I rolled it in my hand. Maybe it works best on black ink, on black paper. I don't know. Can you guys see the white in there? Barely. It is kind of good that it's not a really bright white. Kind of a nice, just kind of a subtle white. I'm going to add some into my tree. I like that the white is just adding a little bit of accent in here. Maybe it's because I have a fine tip pen or extra fine. Carmen may have had a broad. Okay, cute, right? So now let's see if I can add it into this black. Oh man, it's really fine. Might be the size of my tip. Pretty. Oh, I can't see comments anymore. Where'd they go? Carmen says, I have a fine tip a nib and a medium nib and using it on black paper right now. Huh. See, it doesn't work all the time. Like on some things it shows up, but like if I was to use a white Posca, I know that would show up there. Huh, I don't know. I guess there's reasons to have both, but the Posca is much brighter, deeper, darker, whiter. I don't know. It's fun. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just go for it. I wanted to put some darker white in the tree. So we're gonna add the Posca on top of the white. Wish I hadn't done that, but I can fix it. Don't like that white in there at all. So we're just gonna cover it up with some brown. It'll just make it a little darker white. Okay, kids, I think we're done here. And what do you know? It's nine o'clock on the button. I love this tag. It's really pretty. Mighty oaks from little acorns grow. And our tree and our acorn and a little tiny hill. And that's it. I'm out of here. I'm just going to take this bowl of jelly beans. Ooh, this is a really cool little strip to use on something. I'm going to take this bowl of jelly beans. I'm going to take this bowl of acorns. And I'm out of here. So have a really good day, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow when our prompt is something else. Ugh, coffee or tea. Rebecca, you're killing me here. I might have to do hot cocoa because I don't drink coffee or tea. So whatevs. I love you guys. I'll see you uh, tomorrow and we'll do another tag because the tags are super fun. I am loving making them. So have a great day and be a good human. Okay, bye.